Okay guys, welcome back to SP Vids and as you can see this is a slightly different vibe going on here today because I'm actually doing this one in the dark which is the first time I've done one in the dark for a long time so I've got a few lights on around. Looks kind of cool I think but hope you enjoy it anyway. So I've got quite a few things I need to announce, I'll try and be as quick as I can. The first thing I need to say is a huge shout out to Lisa at Sontronics. So Sontronics is the microphone that I use for all the videos that I record since the audio's got a lot better if you've been following me that long. And recently all the bungees on my condenser mic, I've actually got them here, all the bungees kind of lost their elasticity. And that's supposed to be about half the, the length if that makes sense. So they weren't holding my mic in place properly and I messaged Sontronics and they replied literally within like an hour and without any hesitation just sent me out some um, some new bungee cables so huge thanks for Lisa for helping me out with that and it just means that I can carry on doing the channel which is great and now the mic's really sturdy and secure in the uh, I'm trying to think of the name for it what's it called uh, the shock mount so yeah that's it so it's in the shock mount and it's really sturdy now because I've got brand new bungees on it so really happy with that the other thing is you may have seen the video go up of my latest EP is now online it's also available on Spotify which is really exciting for me so if you want to check it out I've made an alias for that it's called Gone 12 so just search Gone 12 it's G-O-N-E 1-2 so Gone 12 all one word and you'll see my latest beat tape on there so I'd really appreciate it if you could uh, go and head to Spotify and, and listen to that and if you've got any lo-fi playlists that you like listening to please drop it on there It'd be a, a great help so thanks a lot and the third and final thing which I wanted to quickly remind you of is that there is a PO33 giveaway going on right now on the channel. So if you wanna win this little box, as you can see, it's a little bit smaller than the SP. If you wanna win this little box, this little toy, this little sampler, which is a really cool little piece of gear, go back to my videos and have a look and there's a way that you can enter there and uh, you can win this. So I'll be announcing that. I think it's a week tomorrow the winner will be. So there's just over a week left and yeah, get your entries in guys because you can win this and I'll ship it to anywhere in the world. Aside from all that guys, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've been making beats whilst I haven't been chatting that much on the channel recently. A couple of my uploads have just been like music and stuff like that. So I feel like I haven't chatted to you guys for ages. So I hope you're all doing good. And leave a comment below if you're a regular and uh, we'll hit up some conversations again like we always do. Okay, so let's get into this tutorial guys. What I want to talk about is this little button here called Tap Tempo Pause. But if you look underneath it, it's got a little dog, which is not standard with the SP. And it's also got some text called the, uh, which says effects grab. I'm gonna show you what this does. And I've actually just started messing around with it a little bit now and ha and realized that it's actually really useful. Um, I don't know why I've neglected it so much before. I think this is especially useful for live performance. So if you're someone that's looking to do live performances on the SP, this is definitely for you. And also it's good for in your beats as well. If you're bouncing out of the SP and recording, you can do the effects on the fly like I do. And this is just a really good way of doing it. So it's a really good way of applying effects. That's what, that's what I should say. So I've got uh, one of my tracks from my EP on here now, actually. So I'm just gonna play this. And what you'll see is there's the old way. I'll show you the old way of doing effects first and then I'll show you the effects grab way. It's a lot better. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea. That's the old way that I usually use still now for some reason to add effects to beats on the fly. So you're having to put it on, mess around with the parameters while it's on and turn it off again. So what effects grab does is it completely eliminates the need to have to turn it off and on, which is so cool. So let me just show you that again uh, using effects grab. Okay, so what you see there is that if you hold effects grab, it actually shows you the, I think it shows you the last one you used for some reason. That's just flashing now because that was the last button that I pressed. All you have to do is hold down what effect you want to use at the same time as well. So you hold this button down, 
you hold that button down and as soon as you release the effects stop so it's a much better way of controlling the MFX that are up here on your beats when you're trying to add effects on the fly. Also, obviously, you can add whatever MFX you want onto this one and include that as well if you want to. So let's say we'll put Vinyl Sim on it. Because what I've noticed is Vinyl Sim is quite cool for adding to a, a beat if you haven't got it on already when you've sampled the beat, if that makes sense. It's quite a nice effect to add in the, in the middle. So let's just, I'll give you an example of that, I suppose. See like that, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. So that's just another little aside tip there, guys. It's quite a nice little effect to put in on the side. So yeah, basically, effects grab means you don't have to turn the button on and off. You just have to press and hold it and let go and it turns itself on and off. It means you can be a lot more accurate with the effects as well and you can get a much smoother transition when the effect is on and effect is off so i don't think there's actually that much more to say about it i know it's quite a simple function but i think this is just a button that's probably overlooked quite a lot because tap tempo and pause is on there yeah fair enough but effects grab you, i don't know i don't know if if you do use it a lot let me know because to me that's not a button that i use too much it's, it's quite overlooked i'm usually just doing it off and on like this really quick but i think this is a much better way of doing it so I know this is quite a basic tip, but it might give you some inspiration to go out and try some effects on your beats again, which is why I think my videos are always worth giving a watch, guys, because even if you're not, even if you're already familiar with what I'm talking about, it's, it, it might give you a bit of inspiration to, to get the SP out again and start making some beats. So I'm going to call it for that one there, guys. I know this is a very short and simple tip, but give the effects grab a go and see what you think of it. If you already use it, like I said, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't used it before, I'd also like to hear from you and let me know if you think this is a good tip or not. One last thing before the video ends, if you do need some lo-fi drum sounds, head to spvids.com and pick up my beat pack there. I think I've had over 100 sales of that now, so that's really incredible. Thank you so much to everyone that's bought that. It really is a massive help for me at the moment, everyone that gets uh, bought up. And when I put the sale on a few months ago, we've got so many sales, so really happy with that. Thank you very much, guys. So yeah, head over to SPVids if you need that and pick that up. That'd be great. So that's it for today, guys. Keep making beats. I will see you again very soon. Peace.